Hey everyone, welcome to the follow-up to my BRZ clutch spring removal video. First we'll talk about some of the comments I got on the first video, then we'll talk about the clutch setup that I have now. I'm super happy with it, I can't wait to show you. The majority of the feedback I got about the first video was, what about the slop that you get when you remove the clutch spring? And what about that MTEC spring I keep hearing about? As far as that slop, I never really saw any. If you see anything else that's causing an issue, let me know in the comments, I'm dying to hear. As far as the MTEC spring, well I had to get one, for science. Okay, so this is what you need to characterize a spring. You need a bench vise or something that you can controllably compress the spring with. A load cell or something to be able to measure the force for lightweight springs. You could even just use a fish scale or something like that. Uh, you need something to be able to measure displacement and you need a plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stock spring in here. So right now it's free. I'm going to adjust the vise until just where it can support the spring. So that I'm going to say is zero compression on the spring. I'm going to zero my calipers. So I'm set to zero. So now I'm going to go to my first compression, which is 50 thousandths. Compress the vise. And I get 3.6 pounds. Now I'm going to set these to my next travel amount, 0.1. Close the vise up to that. And now we're reading 11 pounds. All right, now that we have force and deflection for the stock spring, we'll do the same thing for the MTEC spring and we'll know where we stand. All right, so now that we have that information, let's put it into Excel and see what the chart looks like. So right away we can tell that the stock spring is about twice as strong as the MTEC spring. So I would assume that the clutch pedal would be a little heavier with the MTEC spring versus the stock spring. So this chart is basically the same one from the first video. The blue spring is the clutch pedal force with the stock spring installed, and the orange curve is with the spring removed. When we add in the MTEC spring, the red curve, it does pretty much what you'd expect. It's weaker than the stock spring, so the pedal is going to be a little bit heavier. To me, it just looks like MTech saw the same weird clutch feel issue that I saw, made a weaker spring so that it felt closer to having no spring, and still had a product to sell. So should you get the MTech spring? It's up to you. If you think that not having a spring at all is going to damage your clutch, then go for it. If not, save your 30 bucks. When I first started out trying to figure out this BRZ clutch business, I went right to the clutch spring. It got the most press on YouTube and Reddit, so it had to be right. Well, my clutch pedal feels about a thousand percent better now, and I'd say removing the clutch spring only accounts for about 20% of that. The other 80% is just from adjusting the clutch pedal correctly. For some reason, Subaru sets the clutch pedal so there's almost two inches of dead travel between the floor and when the clutch engages. That'd be like turning your steering wheel 45 degrees before you started turning. Yet another reason why your brain has trouble relating to this clutch. I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of how to do the adjustment. Just Google it or I'll put a link in the description to the video I watched. Just do pay attention to the safety warnings and take your time. Even if you go slow, it's a quick job. My clutch engages about half an inch off the floor now and it's so much better. The first time I drove my car after this, I was so excited. It felt like what I remembered a clutch should feel like. So go out and adjust your clutch pedal right now and thank me later. My only other advice for better shifts is to keep your RPMs above 3,000, 3,500 after your shift. So that means you're going to have to get up to four or four and a half to keep it above three. I know that's in the torque dip zone and all that, but uh, just for everyday driving, obviously not racing. spring replacement clutch adjustment then I want to talk about Ugh.